Welcome to Lessons Learned, a series where we share our biggest mistakes so you don't make the same ones. Today's lessons come from my time transitioning from PC development to server-side development. So I was asked to debug a problem on server-side after having done many years doing PC development. And in PC development, when I would do debugging, I would typically connect directly to uh, the local PC and use an IDE source level debugger. And when I started doing server side programming, I carried that same habit across where I would connect to a remote server with a debugger uh, source level and try and solve a problem. But it caused me a lot of grief. It turned out it was really ineffective. And ultimately, it was my debug approach that needed to change. And what convinced me to do that is one of the developers who'd been doing server-side programming for most of his career pulled me aside and said, your approach simply doesn't work. It doesn't scale and it's not very realistic for a production environment. Instead, you need to do logging. In fact, he argued, logging is king. Is king. You simply need to always use that and don't even waste your time with source level debuggers. And at first I'm thinking, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's the whole purpose of having an IDE is being able to save time, being able to make a quick change and see the result, et cetera. But he argued that having one way of solving problems for development and another way for production is really not very efficient. You should use the same skills, the same tools all the time. And then he argued that for code to be debuggable, it must have several things. Of course, what I just mentioned, it should have logs. And those logs need to be really high quality logs, not just an error occurred, but it needs to include all the parameters and all the state that would be necessary to track down the problem. And especially for exceptions. For exception code, you should throw up not just the error, but also what was the state of all the parameters that were associated with that. And along the same line, you want to have assert statements in the beginning and end of your code, which asserts expected states and parameters so you can debug that much more quickly. That way you can pull the logs and examine the logs and not spend time transitioning between an IDE and code and logs for a production environment. In fact, he would argue you should just abandon source level debug. It took me a long time to be convinced that that was in fact true, but over time I learned that having quality logs and making code that is made to be debugged is really the key to being a developer they can solve problems more quickly and have developed skills that apply not just to development, but also for a diagnosing problem in production.